Creators, what's up? It's Allie Hardesty and today I am doing a story time. I have not filmed like a real story time in months, honestly. It's been forever and there's been a few reasons for that that I've talked about in Q&As. I just felt like I was doing so many of them that I kind of needed a break so I didn't get burned out, but I still have a lot more stories coming in the future and I'm going to tell one right now, so get ready for it because this is going to be a good one. This is one of those stories that makes me look really stupid, so I just want to put a disclaimer that I was very young when this happened. I was not very experienced when it came to F boys or dating or hooking up or anything like that. So I do admit that I took a big role in the events that occurred because it just basically went over my head and I didn't realize what I was sort of getting myself into. But this guy was also a piece of crap. So yeah, with that being said, we're just gonna jump right into this video. <laughs> this story time takes place early high school and the main character that the story time is about, we're gonna call him Frank, just like some random guy name, okay? so. That is the F boy who stole my money and we're gonna explain how that all happened. I also have future story times I would really love to tell regarding him because this was not the only downhill experience I had with him and the fact that I even gave him a second chance or continued to associate with him at all after this happened is just pathetic. Like there's literally no excuse for it but in my defense, I didn't really realize and connect the dots until later but I'm gonna get to all that and talk to you guys about that in this story. So yeah, sophomore year Allie was really into this guy Frank, right? Right? Not necessarily because he had a good personality or because he had good moral values or because I wanted to date him. It was honestly just that I found him very physically attractive and he was in my class freshman year and then I remember he hit me up on Facebook. He ended up like moving schools or something but we kept in contact like via DMs and things like that and then we got around to texting, we would FaceTime. But it wasn't necessarily one of those things where we were trying to pursue a relationship. It was just like a flirtationship. Like we would just talk on the low, you know? And so this experience I'm going to tell you about was the first time that we hung out in person. I've mentioned in other videos, my parents were very strict in high school. I wasn't really allowed to hang out with guys never alone god forbid oh my god if i hung out with guys my parents basically had to be there like or at their house they had to have their parents home my mom would have to meet their parents or something or if we went anywhere you know it was just a very supervised situation if i was ever alone with a guy like i wasn't really alone you know so this guy frank was asking me to hang out he was a jock and he was pretty popular and I don't know, for some reason I just really wanted to impress him because of that. So when he asked me to hang out, I was like, heck yeah, I'm down. And so I lied to my mom about where I was going. I ended up meeting up with him at a park, which is red flag number one. Although I'm sure there were many red flags before this just because of like the way the conversation probably went. Like who meets up at a park, you know what I mean? But that's what I did. And I told my parents that I was going to a friend's house who lived by the park because they tracked my phone and they could like see where I was at, so yeah. So we met up there, I walked there, I didn't have a car or my license or anything at the time I don't believe that he did either me being this young and not having any previous experience really hanging out with guys alone like at all I truthfully thought that we were going to hang out and have a conversation talk like chill whatever like how I would hang out with my friends that are girls you know but I should have freaking known, especially because it was kind of late. It was like 6 p.m. After I was there for a little bit with him, it started to get dark like that. And pretty much right when I arrived there, like when we both met up and got there, we just started kissing. Like he didn't really care to talk to me at all. And I remember feeling super awkward and just not comfortable with the situation because I'd only really made out, I think, with two guys at this point. But I was trying to play it cool because like I said, I really wanted to impress him for whatever reason because he was popular and I didn't want him to think that I was like a prude. So I made out with him and I remember just breaking away when we were kissing, trying to like talk and like felt super awkward. But that's all he wanted to do is kiss. Like he didn't really make much conversation. And so while we were kissing, he kept trying to like do more, you know, because guys are, you know what I'm saying? Like, especially guys at that age. So it was very obvious what he was trying to do, like trying to get a little bit more intense with the kissing. And I was just not about it. So after a while of him doing that, I was like, totally breaking away completely we were on this bench and i was just like kind of like completely pulling away and being like so how was your day like what'd you do today you could tell he was getting kind of mad and so he like kind of pulled me closer to him again and we were kissing and then his phone rings and it's like a text message from another girl right and so this is a girl i went to school with and i kind of could tell that they were talking to like maybe in the same scenario that me and him were although i'm pretty sure if anyone was like the side chick it was me because of what happened after this so yeah she texts his phone and he opened it right in front of me so i like saw the message i didn't see what it said because it just said like i message and then her name but her contact name had a bunch of kissy faces and things like that and so i took a mental note of that 
but I didn't really say anything because I didn't really think I was in any position to so I was like whatever and I didn't really have time to think about it because he just started kissing me again like I said it was super awkward like he was trying to take it to here and I was trying to take it back down here so the kissing was just weird he wasn't that great of a kisser but he was just really cute so that like kind of made up for it finally got to the point where I was straight up just like look I'm not gonna do anything with you like this is it home dog like maybe we should just go our separate ways like I'm sorry whatever and so he just kind of took the L at that point he honestly was respectful after that like he didn't try to push it push it he was just doing the normal guy thing like when I say he was getting handsy I don't mean that to an extreme like I've talked about in other story times this guy was like decently respectful or whatever I mean still like come on like luring me to a park for that intention like that's pretty freaking ratchet but he did like you know like stop when I really said that so that was that and he asked me at this point because at this point He was pretty much forced to talk to me because we were just sitting there and we needed a ride or like to walk home or whatever He asked me if he could borrow 20 bucks, right? I didn't ask him why he needed to borrow money. I didn't ask him what it was for I really didn't ask any questions, but I was trying to be cool I was trying to impress him. So I was like, yeah, sure Like you can borrow 20 bucks because I felt bad that I wasn't willing to like hook up with him at all So I felt like in a way maybe that sort of compensated for that and like made up for it And I was just really trying to be cool at this time. I was a sophomore. I did not have a job I didn't have money like any money I had was probably from Christmas or my birthdays from like my grandparents and things like that I don't even know or if I did chores or babysitting so I really didn't have money like that 20 bucks is probably like a decent amount of money in my wallet but regardless I was like yeah sure so he walks with me back to my house which was not that far because I walked there initially and the whole time I don't even remember what we were talking about just like casual conversation I think he wasn't expecting me to say yes that I was gonna let him borrow the $20 so he was like Oh wow, she's actually gonna let me borrow 20 bucks. So he seemed pretty happy about it We get to my house and at this point it's like pitch black outside So this guy Frank is just like sitting outside not sitting He's standing outside of my front lawn and I go inside my parents are like who's that like who's outside the house? And I told them that I owed him money for Willie's which was like the bagel shop right by my high school that people went to all the time I basically said like oh he bought me like a bagel before so I owe him I'm gonna pay him back so my parents were like whatever they didn't really look too much into it They just figured that was my friend out there or whatever. He kind of like was my friend He was also kind of like a guy I was talking to who was a major douche But yeah, so I went outside with my wallet and it was kind of awkward like we weren't saying anything So I was just trying to like get some conversation like so it wasn't awkward silence So I was like, oh, how much did you need to borrow again? I knew that he needed to borrow 20 bucks but I just said that to like fill the silence and he was like uh, $60 and at this point I had like pulled out the money in my wallet So he could obviously see how much I had and I'm pretty sure I had like $70 for whatever reason This was I think around actually right after my birthday because it was winter ish and my birthday is in November So I'm pretty sure that was like all the money I had for my birthday or whatever in my wallet So I'm pretty sure that he had seen I had more in my wallet than $20 So he like upped how much he needed to borrow but me being the person who was trying to impress him because of whatever reason and feeling bad that I didn't like hook up with him I was like oh yeah sure no problem and I gave him like three twenties I gave him sixty dollars and we went our separate ways he walked across the golf course and um, I was assuming he was walking home even though he lived in the other direction I thought maybe he was going to his friend's house or whatever. I wasn't worried about it I was just trying to be chill as possible. No questions asked so I went back inside and that was pretty much my night, right? <laughs> Yeah, so obviously I shouldn't have gave him $60 because I was never gonna see that money again Like I said, I was really really naive and generous growing up I still kind of am but I've been through things like this where I realized that you just can't be so trusting of other people Like you're not gonna get paid back and people will take advantage of you because you are like that So yeah, definitely had to learn the hard way in this situation as well as many others But that's not even the worst part about this the next morning I woke up and for some reason I started thinking about the girl in my grade at my school that had texted him him while I was kissing him and I was like I wonder if he left me to hang out with her like that's totally possible you know I went to Instagram and on her profile from the night before like after I had went home to bed whatever she had posted a picture of her at sushi and she tagged Frank so they went out to sushi after I went home like I went back in my house and he walked away he probably went to hang out with her like obviously he went to go hang out with her he took her on a date he went out to dinner with her and then it dawned on me, he probably 
paid for their dinner, he probably took this other girl out on a date with the money I gave him, the $60 I gave him. So I was pissed, I was so pissed, but I was also so embarrassed because of how dumb I was. I didn't even really wanna tell the other girl or like make it into something like that. I definitely think that in their case, they were like seriously talking or something and she probably should have known about me. I was basically just really confused and oblivious to like what was going on. I think this is my first real experience talking to a guy who had like other girls and that sort of thing regardless of how serious the talking was or what was going on obviously we were like kissing when we hung out like he was trying to take it somewhere even if it was just physically and the most annoying part about this was that he was one of those guys who would flex on instagram hardcore being like get that money stay on your grind be low key and get that paper like what paper what money you literally took $60 for me and I say took like he basically stole the money Maybe that's kind of a loose term But I mean he never paid me back and I asked him to pay me back and you know what he said He said you gave that money to me. I I gave it to you Pretty sure I let you borrow it because I'm both dumb and nice and you took another girl on a date with it because you're broke and you really have to ask other girls for money but then pretend like you like have a ton of it on Instagram. Um, Oh my god, the story makes me mad all over again. So that's basically the story of the time that uh, F-Boy stole $60 from me to take another girl on a date. And I, for whatever reason, continued to text him and like kind of associate with him. Even though it was never the same after that, I really knew that he was a piece of crap. But yeah, for some reason I continued to like have him in my life somewhat and like something else happened after that that was like kind of a lot worse. So let me know if you guys want that story time. Let me know in the comment section below. If you guys like the story time, give it a thumbs up and I will make more. Subscribe to my channel if you are new here. Turn on post notifications by hitting that bell button right next to the subscription box. Follow me on all my social medias. I will have them on the screen for you guys. I'm really active on those and I love you so much. I will see you in my next video. Later alligators. Bye.